Hey, yo, welcome back to the Knuckles Deep Podcast. Like, somebody farted? Yeah. Oh. Who? I don't know. Get away. (laughs) Fuck you guys. What are the the dog shit? (sighs) Yeah. Oh. Rocky. Please tell me that was recorded. (laughs) I hit record as soon as. That's bad. I hope they all fuck shit on you. <laughs> uh, what is up? Welcome. We got T Dog here, uh, the most reoccurring guest, slash basically co host at this point. Basically co host, but just more the likely one friend. <laughs> exactly. And then we got Lawfrey over here. Uh, you can't see him, but if he puts the mic up, he you can hear him, but he may not talk at all. He's kind of in control of a couple of pugs today. It just, it, it's all perfectly fine. But, um, I guess we'll get right into it. Uh, NFL, is it scripted? You know, that's a hot take. And obviously the punks think so, and so do I. Um, I was 50-50 on it, like like last year, how it became. <laughs> it's fine. Morty, quit barking. How last year it became a thing to where it's like, oh, it's scripted, and it was like showing big evidence and all that. But ever since the uh, Taylor Swift uh, going in with Kansas City, I feel like it's a yeah. Uh, if she performs, evidence. if she performs at the Super Bowl, it is a thousand percent rigged. I thought she had a show overseas at that the same weekend as the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's what they're gonna say, and then she's literally gonna come out with Usher at halftime. Oh, I love you, Travi. <sighs> she is in Japan, the, like the day before, but they're seventeen hours ahead, so it works out for her to make it back <clears throat> with the international time change. Oh God. Okay, so she might perform. How bizarre. How bizarre. There was apparently American Airlines. I think I screenshotted this. American Airlines made a new flight to uh, in case just if, for her, uh, something like that. Let me go to my. I'm notes surprised here. she doesn't have a fucking private jet. No, no, no. She does. I meant for people to fly out to Vegas. Oh, American Airlines. Here it is. American Airlines have created a flight from Kansas City to Las Vegas. Flight. 1989. Oh, the fuck! Taylor Swift's last album. The audacity. The return flight from Vegas to Kansas City is flight 87. Travis Kelsey's Kelsey. number. I hope they get fucking dismantled. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's a new Taylor Swift song or a new Usher song with the other featuring on it that they're going to debut at halftime. Probably because I don't think she's ever performed with Usher. I don't think they have a song no, together. No, and she's literally going to come out from the stands, and it's going to be. She'll so come from the suite. Annoying. Yeah. She thinks she'll. Do you think she'll fly over? Bro. Hey, what did you think of Pat Mahomes' dad saying he didn't want to be in the suite with her? That's good. I mean, more respect. You're not. Nobody's there for her. You shouldn't be there. I know there's going to be fans there. Yes. For her, but you should be there for the freaking game. Yes, and that's why I think I'm starting to see a lot more people freaking out on um, people. They're 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 shit talking the people that are upset about Taylor Swift being on the screen. Like, just get over it. But what I feel like they don't understand is that it's mainly becoming her. The game, Kansas <laughs> City, is her now. Yeah, how's that feel that uh, all these people that have just started watching football for the first time in their lives have took, made the Super Bowl it in their took, first year of watching football and you've never seen your team in a Super Bowl? <laughs> it took all the new fans. It took uh, Taylor Swift three months to get their team to the Super Bowl, and I'm at 26 waiting for the Cowboys to make it still. And Let's just be honest. Cowboys probably... Are We're going to get gonna, there next year. We them boys. I hear that every year. It's you're fucking worse than a Bears fan. Uh, 06, I believe, was our last season. <laughs> what happened? Who'd you lose to? The Colts? We covered. You, you, you didn't win? <laughs> At least I have my team's won a Super Bowl in my lifetime. <sighs> well, we're going to get there. Like the Chicago Cubs, there's always next year. We were, me, and Lawfrey, me and Lawfrey were talking about this. Would you sacrifice... This is a question to you. Would you sacrifice the World Series win for a football Super Bowl? I don't know, but maybe an Illinois Final Four. (laughs) You would sacrifice a Final Four for a Super Bowl? No, no, no. I mean sacrifice the World Series for the Final Four. That would be Just a Final Four? Not even to win it? Well, yeah. I mean, like, win, like, March Madness, but... 
Yeah. Okay. How, I want to go to the Final Four. How can Illinois at. even get into that position? Because I feel like they've never gotten well, close. I guess when? 04, 05. No, I just mean like, how? Like, say this year. What do they have to do to get to that position to then? Because were, uh, were they in the bracket last year? Yeah, they were. Uh, First round exit. Third seed, three seed? Or an eight seed or a nine seed, and we lost to Arkansas. Or two years ago, we were a three. Nine. We were a one when I was a sophomore in college. Yeah. yeah. We were a one in 2020, in 2021. Yeah. Because I remember we if had we, to wear masks at the Big yeah. Ten Championship mm, game. I got you. We lost to yeah, cause Chicago Loyal. I think the last time I paid attention to it was in, like, junior high, and, like, Illinois wasn't even on, like, the top bracket no. or something. And I – That was the John Gross era. <laughs> got a better coach now. We got a little fight going on. Morty is getting squished. Hey, we're not fighting right now. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, Illinois, I mean, they looked good the other night. Terrence Shannon's back. Uh, hopefully he doesn't start out flat on Sunday against Nebraska, or that could be some trouble for us. I think he started out the game one for seven or one for eight. I couldn't hit the fucking side of a barn. Yeah, that's fair. Right. But he gets to the line. A he lot gets of to the line. Shots, he was making free but, throws. Yeah, in the last game, but the game before that, he – I think he missed he, – he made him at the end of the game, but at the beginning of the game he missed three of his free throws in the first half. I'm like, what are we doing here? Yeah, you can't be missing them free throws. Uh, did – who is this again? Uh, Northwestern and Purdue. Purdue. Purdue just scored again. Hell yeah. Um, but anyway, back to the Super Bowl. Do you plan on watching it? Because I feel like this is the worst outcome to come to it because – if you're not a Kansas City fan, then you hate Kansas City. If you're not a 49ers fan, you hate 49ers. Yeah, I mean, I would like to see the 49ers. I don't know, because the 49ers beat the Packers, and Green Bay should have beat the 49ers. We all know. <laughs> this happened a couple <laughs> years ago, too, when you guys, I think, beat us in the playoffs, and then you went to the 49ers and then lost – no, we were home. We were the number one seed with Rodgers. Yeah, Robbie Gold, kid from the Bay Area, hitting the field goal in the snow to win the game. <laughs> yeah, Robbie Gold still sucks dick. Is, Where's he at now? Not in the league? Is uh, Brock Purdy overrated, you think? I think Brock Purdy's a top 12 quarterback, but I don't think he's uh, <clears throat> a quarterback where you put him on the Tennessee, say, Tennessee Titans. I don't think he performs. Like, he... He's just got so much talent around him. You got Ayuk, McCaffrey, the best running back in the league. You got Kittle, one of the best tight ends in the league. Uh, you got Debo Samuel, one of the best wide receivers or splits in the league. Like, what, like what more? Like, you put Jordan Love in that situation. Jordan Love's winning the Super Bowl, no doubt about it. Yeah. He's that guy. Just You put Justin Fields, they might not make playoffs. You give him Dak Prescott, and they sure ain't making the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, Dak, I don't even want Dak. Dak. But put Bro, in Cooper Rush. We need Cooper Rush, and that'll be our saving grace. He Cooper was like under. He, he was like, what was he the first? He was, un, he was like six and zero. Oh. Yeah, he was undefeated first year starter. And then Dak comes back and just fucking ruins it. The ruins the season. Ellie, what are you doing? She's squirting. Yeah, she. I mean, she. Uh, Is that what? It, that's uh, not what. Anna Glands. Yeah. She spreads her anal glands around sometimes. <laughs> you know that pugs are pugs are a big liability for clothes and products in the household. Yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to watch the Super Bowl back to it. Uh, what we were talking about earlier, just because it's going to be a huge spectacle. It's going to be one of the most. I think this is going to be it, the most yes. watched Super Bowl ever in our lifetime. It has to something's going to go on to where like. We're going to be like, oh, I saw this live uh, in 30 years. Exactly. No, at first I didn't want to, but then it's like, well. Like Taylor Swift's going to fucking come in on a parachute and, <laughs> and right into the, bro. I guess just, you can't, it's a dome, but. is it Where is it at? It's in Las Vegas. Did they just build a stadium or? Yeah. To, yeah. It's I don't like, think it's I've ever seen it. It's the new stadium. You've never seen it? I don't think so. Maybe. Pull up a picture, hey. Loft. Yeah, Loff. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, young Jamie. <laughs> Loff is our young Jamie, for sure. We'll get it set up to where we'll just have you the full control to this 
right here. Um, while he's looking that up, uh, who do you, who do you want to win? Do you want the 49ers more just to beat Kansas City or I fucking I don't like either team. Oh. I, okay, I feel like I've seen it. Looks like a rip off of the AT&T Stadium. Greatest football stadium in the world. I hate the Cowboys, but I was there for the Cotton Bowl. Mizzou versus it's Ohio a good State. stadium, isn't it? Um, Dumbest Jumbotron. I was definitely more of a fan of Texas Live about? across the street. Texas the Live is awesome. Is, is I, awesome uh, there. I dodged yeah. a bullet there once with a bunch of people. Yeah, we were leaving the parking lot, and uh, it was right after watching. I think it was it was Monday Night Football, and uh, we were leaving the bar, going to the parking lot, and then all of a sudden, uh, somebody's doing a burnout in a lowrider, and there's a group of people next to him. Started yelling at him. Well, as they got up to it, they did another burnout, and one of the guys slapped the ass into the truck. Oh, fuck. They made it 10 feet, hit the brakes. Then somebody got out in the passenger seat waving a gun, like, slap my shit again, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. And the guy who slapped him's like, bet, walks up to him, challenges the man with the gun, and slaps the fuck out of him. That's wild. So the guy with the gun just... It, it, all right, boom, shoots him in the leg. <laughs> yeah, no, somebody got shot right in front of me, and I'm just like, uh, this was, like, for me to you is how far this happened. Tell and me that people doesn't happen around here. People don't get shot like that. No, I'm sure people get shot around here. There was a, down the road, there, there was, <laughs> you gotta <laughs> flip off my dog, bro. Uh, down the road. She's looking at me weird. Down the road, there was a uh, standoff between a family. Did you hear about that? Down here? No, I did not. It happened that. like six years ago, probably. So it, it was kind of old. But some dude held his family hostage because he did some shit. And, or she was leaving him. So he was holding him hostage. They held it all fucking night. So then the cops are eventually getting to the point of like, fuck you, we're going we're going to bust the door down. Well, they did something and it freaked him out. And he accidentally shot his toe off. Shot his big toe. So that's wild. So it goes on for about another four hours. He's bleeding out. He's like, fine, I'll let, I'll let someone go. And then he just says, he lets them all go. And he goes to shoot himself. Didn't, Misses. didn't fully do it. So he just shot himself, uh, still alive. And then he got arrested. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> this happened like down the road. I wonder who it was. I wonder what cops were on duty. Uh, I do know the one. I'm going to try to get him to come on here. Oh, he was on that call? Yeah, it was his first year. Oh. And uh, I worked for the city. And me and my buddy, who I, we both were there, we were like, why do you guys, like, when's the last time you guys have actually had a situation where you had to use these guns? Like, what the fuck? And then the next day that happened. Oh, that's a, <laughs> you fucking jinxed it, bro. Uh, the, the buddy did. The buddy did, for sure. Who do you want to win? Northwestern? We need Northwestern, Northwestern to win for Illinois to... And we need Help with the conference, then, then we need Purdue, uh, Purdue to beat Wisconsin. Wisconsin yeah, I guess we have till March, don't we? Or how long do they got until? Yeah, early to March. figure National it out. National championships April something. Oh, you mean the big? No, game. I meant like to Regular get to season. the point. Like how uh, does it need like a two weeks before March Madness or before March? March March ninth is the last regular season game. So something they need like to be that. at a certain spot by March 9th, basically. Well, and then there's the Big Ten tournament also. Oh, and do they have to win that or no? no I mean, no, no. Uh, we're we're. I saw on Twitter that we we're one hundred percent making the tournament. Like we could lose out and make the tournament. That's not. They can't lose out. Although then that was before we lost <laughs> to Northwestern. So oh, that's fair. That is. Fair. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I guess back to the Super Bowl. So who is? So there's like they announced three singers. I saw Post Malone is supposed to sing. Oh. I if he's doing his country version. No, ta- Post Malone. Country Taylor Swift with Post Malone. Yeah, but yeah, uh, sure. It's, it's, it's going to be all pop. beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that what he's singing? Ah, uh, maybe. Oh, yeah, is, yeah. Isn't he is. doing the national anthem? No, that's uh, Reba, I think. Reba, that's who it is. I don't that's know. Her heart. It's going to be an interesting. I thought she was like dead. Dude, no. How old is Reba? That's the queen of country music. 65? Oh, damn. Oh, There's no... <laughs> pull it up. <laughs> I bet you she's 65. I don't know. I guess I, I honestly I figured she was too old to perform anymore. Reba is 68. 68. Damn. Yeah. But that's younger than Dolly, who did the halftime at the 
Cowboys Thanksgiving game. Yo, so many people thought she was a retired cheerleader, and they're going like, "Yeah, you give her one last show." That's like dust, bro. It's so bad, bro. <laughs> when she breastfeeds. Oh gosh. <laughs> Them titties are filled with Hennessy. Damn. Did you? Okay. Did you? Uh, did you say who you wanted to win? Neither. I don't think you did. I don't. Who do? You, who do you want to win? Who do you want to win? If I had to choose. If you choose the 49ers, then Green Bay lost to the champions. But if you choose... Yeah, but... I mean... But also you don't want them to win because they beat you guys. I just... I don't know. Lawfrey, who do you want? I like Christian McCaffrey. So if he wins one, that would be sick. But I also... Don't like the 49ers, so... It's fair. I don't like either. It's pretty much like choosing the lesser of two evils. Yeah, honestly, it's like who, who, how, how much impact would this have on my life? Depending it's like on the, the two thousand eight uh, presidential election over all over again. Yeah, fair Barack enough. Barack Obama or Mitt Romney? Young. Is that Mitt Romney? Mitt yeah. Romney. We were in. I was in fifth grade. I think it was, I was fifth in grade. grade. No, I was in fifth. Oh, it was eight? fifth grade. Like, what, second grade? Wild. Yeah, you, something like that. Who do you want to win? Uh, the 49ers. Although I am, I will say it, I am a Travis Kelsey fan. Shout out Travis uh-huh. putting Taylor on the map. <laughs> Damn, bro, did you see? Okay, I guess I'll say mine first. I would rather have 49ers win because I don't think it'll be less of an impact on social media. Yeah. And uh, just because I feel like, uh, just because I do not like Patrick Mahomes. He annoys me. It's Kermit the Frog voice. The way he looks. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I can't even do it. <clears throat> There's something in my throat. Um, I posted okay. that one TikTok where I did a challenge where every shot, they showed Taylor Swift on the screen. And luckily, it was only five. Yeah, it was only five shots. But I had one Swifty comment within like 30 minutes. She was like, this looks, this should be, it's basically a celebration. And I was like, oh, God, I'm fucked. Like, because immediately I'm like, okay, that was within 30 minutes. So, guaranteed going to be more. So, then I defused it, I believe, with me going, yeah, no, I'm I'm celebrating. That's what I'm doing. Are you going to do that for the Super Bowl? I thought about it. If I did the, because I wanted to do a live stream for it um, in a way. But uh, it depends. If not, I'll just do a video, a TikTok. Do you think uh, we're going to show... Like, is she going to have any commercials for the Super Bowl, too? Because, you know, <clears throat> Patrick Mahomes and is going to have a commercial for State Farm. Yep, State Farm. Travis Kelsey will have his... And uh, head and shoulders. His um, the shot commercial. Oh, Pfizer. Yeah, and then... Alphazar. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. Taylor has a commercial, doesn't she? It's like an airline's. Commercial, remember? Like credit card commercial? I think it was a credit card commercial. She's like in the elevator. And yeah, she's in the elevator bar. with all of her other personality or uh, albums, whatever you call it. Yeah. Um, I'd bet money. I, I mean, on, but if it came down to betting, who would you bet on? <coughs> I sucks. honestly, if it came down to betting on the game between the teams, I would bet on Kansas City yeah. 100%, but I'd rather see 49ers win. You just got to bet the over-under on the anthem, the Gatorade color, the coin flip, first touchdown score, the, the easy stuff. Who do you – who who's scoring the first touchdown? Kittle. Kittle? <laughs> Ayuk. I can see either. I guess Travis Kelsey. Nah, there's no way he would score first, do you think? Maybe. Valdez Scantling. Who? Valdez Scantling. That'd be like if you hit that, put $100 on that. That's probably like <clears throat> six grand, four grand. Um, that's kind of all I had on my notes here. For I wrote these all today. It was a uh, NFL script. Uh, <laughs> are you watching the Super Bowl? And who do you want to win? That was all my top picks right there. Um, what do you got, Luffer? What do you got going on in your life? Not a whole lot going on. <laughs> um, I think yeah, it's scripted. Baltimore, I thought was probably. The best team in the league all year. I mean, there was a arguably there was a go decent to, amount of go calls. To San, go to San Francisco. 
<laughs> and win on Christmas Day. <clears throat> where Where do you think Kansas City made the flip when they started sitting Kadarius Tony? All the drop balls went out the window. Oh, I guess yeah. Did they finally sit him, and then now they started catching. What is it? Three games he hasn't played. I saw on Twitter somebody was yeah, saying he's not actually like hurt. Coming oh from, yeah, no, he coming did. from him. He yeah. Apparently he he went live and said I'm not hurt. They sat me. And then why would you tell people that? Oh yeah, everyone was giving him shit. Like why would you say that? Like now you kind of fucked yourself in a way in a situation. Yeah, I don't know. Well, when you dropped the ball that many times. Uh, I don't blame you. Yeah, you get paid. Uh, you get paid to that catch. much money. That would have been the greatest play of all time, though, had he not lined up offsides. That was ridiculous. Bro, that fucking incident. Oh, my God. It was a great play. But how Patrick Mahomes tried to defend that after the game. Mm-hmm. Like, how are you defending that he wasn't offsides? Or, like, you're just putting that pass, like, the ref shouldn't call that because it was such a great play is basically what uh, he was saying. That's fucking just dumb to me. Like It, it was pretty dumb. I'm not going to lie. Like, you're just making yourself look so bad. And didn't the, the coach game. also? Yeah. Yeah, no, that, obviously offsides. Like it's a flag. It. Didn't they argue that he checked with the ref, though? It wasn't that he was lined up offsides or not, that he checked with the ref and the ref told him he was good? Wasn't no, he no, no. The he ref never didn't. checked in with the ref at all. Yeah, I think he looked at him, but didn't do nothing. Kind of like Detroit getting screwed at Dallas. They did not. They fucked up themselves. They did it to themselves, just like how they lost that playoff game. Not going to lie. They tried to confuse confuse Dallas. They confused the refs, so they fucked themselves in the ass right there. I'm just glad my team is better than both your teams this year. So Apparently, there's talks. I don't know if it's true of him coming to the Cowboys. Justin Fields? Yeah. I don't know how much help that would do at all. Well, I mean, that would make sense because <clears throat> uh, Bears are drafting a quarterback number one overall by the name of Caleb Williams. <laughs> well, what sucks, why do you raise, is that bad? I mean, I would love that. As a Packers fan, I would love that. Oh, he the Packers going to the Bears to help him win. No, no, no. I'm, yeah, because uh, Caleb Williams is not uh, ready to be a quarterback in the NFL. That's fair. What's fair. your Bears perspective, Bears fan perspective on that? How do you think the draft is going to end up for the Bears this year? Uh, I like to think of it like the movie Draft Day with Kevin Costner, <laughs> where they've got the generational quarterback, and they've got the number one overall pick, and he writes down on the piece of paper, instead of saying Vontae Mack, no matter what, it says Marvin Harrison Jr., no matter what, take him number one overall. They're not taking or a wide trade receiver back, overall. Trade back, trade back, let, let New England. Get Caleb Williams and take Marvin Harrison at three. I don't think that'll happen, though. I mean, I guess at this point you never know. I'm sad because we're probably not going to lose Dak or McCarthy for another four years. The best thing the Bears could do is draft five quarterbacks and hope one of them just fucking performs. The Cowboys need to do is pick up 16 to 17 coaches, let them each coach a game, Whoever wins those games plays rock, paper, scissors for the playoffs. Whoever loses gets fired immediately. I think Mike McCarthy is a good coach, though. He is a good coach. I'm just going to blame it on Dak, basically. I mean, he took Green Bay to a Super Bowl. I mean, fuck. He about, I mean, other than the playoff game, had one of the best teams in the league. They just shit the bed. Well, when you got Dak throwing the ball to only CeeDee Lamb, like he's playing Madden for the first time, to where it's like, this guy caught the ball once, I'm going to keep throwing it to him and hope for the Cowboys best. trade up to get Marvin Harrison. He's going to be a bear. <laughs> I, I love your ambition and drive for the Bears to be good, but they're just their front office is terrible, dude. We just need a new running back, basically, for Cowboys over here. Pollard is good, but fuck. Yeah, he not got that. rid of fucking uh, Zeke. Zeke. I miss Zeke. I'm not going to lie. Zeke in his prime was sick. I know we've, we've personally talked about this, but Lawfrey seemed to not know about it. But uh, you, I just showed you, I guess, before it, but the most hated woman on Instagram. 
what is her name again? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm looking it up right now. I got to look it up on your mom. I didn't account. understand it. Like, why is everybody so mean in the comments? <laughs> it's hard fucking telling, bro. Uh, it's uh, Caitlin Campbell. Caitlin Campbell. Is that what it is? I don't know. Let me see it. Caitlin Campbell. She is a 29 year old independent coffee maker. Yeah, Caitlin Campbell. Campbell? What, is the P silent? Yeah. How does English work? It like blends with the B. <laughs> Yeah. Like, how? Camp, campable? That's how I read it. You never had, like, Campbell's soup? Campbell's yeah. soup? Is there a P in Campbell's soup? There's no way. No. There's no, no way. There's no P in Campbell's soup. <laughs> oh, what is this picture? Yes, there is. Is it her? It is a long. There is a P in Campbell's soup. Is, is there, there really? Yeah, okay. Why? Why is English the way? This is long and girthy with a freckle on it. Hey, yeah. <laughs> what is this? Give me one. Look at it. <laughs> Cooper, I didn't know you were like that. Okay, so she literally just vlogs her life, living her best life, all that. Fucking has her own little cof- coffee. Like, she sells coffee and shit. And uh, she'll just put on Instagram. And But, like, uh, I guess we'll see a video. She's right here. loved on Instagram, but she's hated on TikTok. Or just the other way around. She is hated on TikTok. Oh, and God damn it. I just did what she said. She's hated on Instagram. Loved on TikTok. Okay. So this the video is up on the screen right now. Uh, if you're listening, you'll hear it. Um, but so anyway, all this, packages, whatnot, you go to the comments. <laughs> First comment, hate from O-Block. I've seen, yeah. Hate from Australia. Every day is a big day for you. Oh, no. <laughs> Good job, Heavy Potter. Oh. <laughs> Even my dog hates you. <laughs> Neck reveal? Question mark. <laughs> it's so fucking mean. <laughs> She's legit just living her fucking life. I gotta, I gotta look some of these up now and see. <laughs> so her mistake I mean she has the confidence of f- the best most confidence I've ever seen on anybody she tried on this purple fucking suit you see you see people see now yeah <laughs> oh no <laughs> tried on this purple suit you see shows it off and first comment heavy potter then the <laughs> second one you got down here it's grimace <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> Don't pay attention to any of the positive comments. <laughs> Why are people so... F- Instagram comments are actually just fucking wild in general. To where all I know is that I'm uh, submitting that this girl is the most hated person on Instagram. Yeah, I think so. Have you ever just looked at random comments on Instagram and hope they're fucking awesome? <laughs> yeah, those comments. Don't listen to the positive comments. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, she commented back on it. Oh shit! She said, "Keep commenting, fanboy." Ooh. Oh, oh, she, she she wants him. Uh, the diabetes Stop fit. Stop posting all these hate comments, and then he comments again without me. <laughs> hate from purple. Hate from New Zealand. Uh, just a nice warm glass of mayo. CEO of eating. Harry Pot. Harry Pounder. You're regarded. Snap my ACL <laughs> in these comments. Is she acoustic? <laughs> oh, no. These are wild. Uh, so. It yeah, seems you, like you a almost, good young man. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw one where it was like, keep all your chins up. So. People are fucking assholes on Instagram. I don't know why she's hated on so much, but pretty much in the the reason I'm making this, this is its own little clip video right here, is uh, we are tagging her in here in hopes to get her on the show. <laughs> Come on down to the Knuckles Deep podcast. Probably what are the Gail odds? Lewis. Yo, Gail Lewis, what are the odds of her? She's only like an hour away. Yeah, I need to message her. Should I like message her right now? Yeah, absolutely. What do you think? Okay, bro, how much... I bet money 
she's going to want money. Oh, absolutely. You think? Would it be worth it? Probably. What's the, what's the score? It is, uh, she has a link tree. 47-44. She has merch. Gail Lewis merch official website. The fuck? What is she selling? Wow. She's got hoodies. Uh, the fuck? Look at this t-shirt. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. And, uh, wait, let me see that again. Isn't that the Kobe Bryant yeah. pose? Or the Jordan pose? Yeah. We're gonna yeah, we'll we'll try to get Gail Lewis on here. Uh she's a ten year associate from Morris, Illinois. Uh she she just retired and it became a big deal. But uh that's another big guest we're gonna try to get on here. Uh Bryce Kenny. I, I yo, imagine if I just called him right now though. Bryce. Put him on the spot. They can answer. <sighs> Possibly. There's a possibility. Then you got um Ah, we got plenty of people we're going to try to get on this pod this year. This this year is 100% trying to get back in the flow of this every Wednesday. Uh, T-Dog will more likely be here until he's not, because then he'll be too busy eventually. Yep. Too and busy, then, too busy. And then it'll be up to Lawfrey. I just hope I didn't sound like a dumbass tonight. Nah, you're, you're golden, my guy. You know who we should try to get? Who? Uh... The guy on YouTube that I've showed you before that drinks uh, shoe nice, shoe nice. That sounds very familiar. He like drinks full bottles of liquor, like downs it, like within like ten seconds. Well, I mean, I'm fifth. at this point. I'm down to get anybody because I just learned on this app we can video call. Oh, so we can easily probably get Bryce on here. We'll see him. He just the camera will be all weird, but. Yeah. Hey, shoot for the stars. No, Pat we're... McAfee. Oh, shit. That'd be funny. That'd, That'd be good. Be that would be wild. You could have AJ Hawk just sitting in the corner. This is 100% pretty much the episode that gets the ball rolling in this moment. So, um, no, we're, we're going big this year. Uh, should be good. Not going to lie. More pugs in the future for sure. Uh, do you like the setup? This I feel like this is more cozy, less man cavey yeah. in a way. Yeah, three of the four pugs fucking passed out. Oh, there she is. I was like, where do you see the other one? Nice and cozy over here. But yeah, other than that, I feel like this is pretty good. Yeah. NFL. Uh, NFL pod here. Uh, we'll get back to you guys with the update after the Super Bowl on uh, how it went. So we'll see you guys next week. Lawfrey, you got last words? What about growing corn 2020? Have you seen his TikToks? Growing corn? He starts off, he's like, Good morning, shit bags. Fuck? And he's just like drinking beer and smoking cigarettes, talking about farming. He's hilarious. All right, we will grow in corn. I'll put him. And he's from like <laughs> central Illinois. So he's around here. I think he's within two hours. We could go to him. We could if if I do get Gail loose, will you go with? Yeah. Will you go with? I have four mics, so. I'm absolutely going to meet Gail Lewis. be wild, actually. We're all going to wear safety vests. I was so confused. And, uh, I never saw the original, like, TikTok. You never did? Well, I've seen it now. But, oh, like, yeah, fair enough. At first, I was, everybody was posting about it. I'm like, who are they talking about? Like, yeah. I'm going to message her, actually, right now. More cell noise. 8444. <laughs> 844. Uh, it said Signing on the fucking... Good night. Uh, Tristan years. came home one night, and she was on Danny Duncan. Yeah, oh, I did see that. That was sick. She was on there. What was the shoes that she got? What, uh, what are those shoes called? I know they're boots, but... It's, I didn't, Walmart version. I didn't know they had a specific name. What should I ask her? Or how should I ask her? Hey. Comma. Trying to apply for Walmart. <laughs> no, no, no. Trying to get her on the pot. <laughs> how should we start? Hey. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? Should I start with that? Should I start it like that or just start it with a simple hey? I don't know. Lawfrey, what do you think? Hey or hi, how are you? Dear Mrs. Gail Lewis. This message is a... 
I'm reaching out to you. I'm going to start. Yeah. Hey, comma. I'm reaching out to you tonight. To offer you a chance to be on Knuckles Deep tonight, Podcast. To ask if you would. I didn't know that was the name of this. That's hilarious. What? Knuckles Deep Podcast. Yeah, no, this is the Knuckles Deep Podcast. That's funny. <laughs> Pretty good name. It, I mean, I was going to change it because I'm like, ah, fuck. I don't know if I can get most people on there because of the name, but it's like it's my last name. It's a golden name. Gotta use it. You know what I mean? You know what he's going to name his son if he has one? Take a guess. Are you having a kid? Uh, not yet. In like eight but years. But like if he, if he had a son, like what, what would his first name be? His last name's Knuckles. I'm not sure. Brass. That'd be cool. Brass. It's supposed to be my I was going to say Angus. I don't Angus know why. Knuckles? I don't know why. It's either Brass, Levi, middle name Brass, or Harry. Harry Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would Harry be for short, though? Would it be Harold? Or just yeah, probably straight, Harry. I, I would make it Harold. Just fuck with him. Middle name Brass. Harry Brass Knuckles. Harry Brass Knuckles. That'd be a good fucking name. Okay, so we're messaging Gail Lewis here. Hey, I'm reaching out to you tonight to ask if you would love... Should I do that? Love? If you would be kind enough to join me and my buddy on an episode of our... Podcast. Sound good? Yeah. End it with uh, best regards, Cooper Knuckles. Best regards, big dick. <laughs> Should I probably put the title of it or just, uh, yeah. Hey, I'm reaching out to you tonight to ask if you would be kind enough to join me and my buddy on an episode of our podcast. We live an hour away. Should I put that? Yeah. An hour away. And would. Definitely come to you. Yeah, I like that. Come to you for the episode. Any like final like that's it or just money included? Should I put money included? Yeah, because we ain't getting her for free. You never know the kindness of her heart. She went on Danny Duncan. You know what she probably paid her, bro? Thumbs up emoji. Money included? Yeah. All right. TikTok. Tag Gay Lewis in this. Center this right now. Gay Lewis, join us. Knuckles Deep Podcast. Let's get Knuckles Deep in the conversation. <laughs> it's fist deep. <laughs> Fuck. Should that be the logo? Nah. <laughs> Have you ever been Knuckles Deep in somebody? 